Yo, what's up? My name is Rich, and in the previous video, we went over designing a t-shirt, right? And if you haven't caught that, make sure you go back and watch it before you watch this video. If not, you can watch this video and then watch that video, whichever you prefer, right? And now what we're going to do is turn that artwork into a hoodie. And all you need is a blank hoodie and a heat press. But we also need some transfers too, so let me go ahead and show you how to order some. Alright, so welcome to the computer. Let's say we want to get our design printed into transfers. We have our design. We designed this in a previous video. Like I said, make sure you check out that previous video. Right here we have about a 11 point um, something size by 16. I don't know what size it was. So what I'm going to do is go to heattransferwarehouse.com, type in supercolor. I already know what I'm looking for, so I'm just going to type it in. There's so many options, right? So I always just go ahead and type it in. Um, I go straight down to wearables, and then uh, we have all of our dimensions. So um, before I created my design, I already knew the super color uh, size that I wanted. So I went ahead and did my design at 11.7 by 16 and a half. But let's say we already did our design and we didn't uh, know the dimensions that we can order transfers in. So let's say we had a 12 by 18. So I just went ahead and made a 12 by 18 uh, square real quick, rectangle, I'm sorry. Go ahead and copy that over. And I'm going to paste it in this right here. This is a 11.7 by 16 and a half, which is one of the transfer sizes. But let's say we had a 12 by 18. I'm going to paste this over. Check it out. It's too big. So I'm going to have to resize this so that it fits. Um, it still doesn't fit the entire thing, but I'm going to go ahead and move it down until it does fit the entire thing. So um, in turn, I'll end up having, let's go ahead and center this. And I'm going to look at this properties window right here on the right. In turn, my design will end up being around 10.9 by 16.3. So I had to resize it down so it fits this, right? But let's say we wanted to go by a different size, 11.7 by 8.3. Do a new file, um, 8.3 by 11.7. Hit OK. I'm going to also paste it, and I'm going to move it down. So about right here should work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, center this real quick. And then now my design ends up being 11.5 by 7 inches wide, by 7.7. .7. So what you can do is go ahead and take out your measuring stick, your ruler, um, measure on your shirt, and see if this works for you. 11.5 by 7.7 .7 or 16.3 uh, by 10.9 if your photo to begin with was a 12 by 18. Just go ahead and play around, size it down, see which one your design fits with. Obviously, it's not going to fit in every single one. Also, one other thing, when you're resizing your images, Make sure it's always in proportion. Do not do this to get like the most out of your size, okay? Does not look good, very unprofessional. Do not do that. So make sure when you resize, you're nice and in scale. And if you're in Photoshop, only go down, okay? But if you're an Illustrator and you have a design file that's a vector file, you can move up. We covered that in the previous video, so make sure you watch the previous video. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this to Heat Transfer Warehouse. Come on over here, 11.7, 16.5 upload my file. Got that clicked on. Garment type in color. I'm going to go ahead and type in poly and cotton and for my color dark garments. Full color CMYK Pantone. Uh, which color do we prefer? We covered this in a previous video as well. If you're going with the Pantone make sure you type in the, your exact Pantone colors that you would like in the order comments. But right here I'm just going to go with the CMYK for the size of the design. Uh, I'm going to come on back over here. So here was my actual design. So the design is in 11.7 by 16 and a half, but the actual design right here, if I look in the properties window on the right, I have my actual design file selected. It's 11.41 by 15.69. So I'm going to copy that over. And order comments required, I'm just going to type in none because I don't have any questions. I don't really have anything uh, special that needs to be notated. I'm good to go. So now I'm just going to click add to cart and check out. All right. So now you know how to order your transfers. We got our transfers. We got the front and we got the back. It's pretty dope, right? Check that out. Now, um, everything you need to know is on this bag to get started. We need to get our press going 290 to 320 degrees in temperature, 10 to 15 second press, uh, high pressure, pill hot immediately. All right. So now we got to make a nice heavy pressure. How are we going to do that? We're going to just go ahead and take this right here. Going to make it tight as possible, okay? Keep going. I'm just going to try and make the pressure to the point where I can't even clamp it down. All right, so about right there, I can't even do it if I tried. So I'm just going to keep on going left until I can get it going. So that's a pretty nice heavy pressure because a few turns before then, I could not clamp it down. 
All right, so that should be pretty good. So it really is that quick and simple. Just make that quick adjustment. Make sure you're on a heavy pressure. Now, we're gonna pull this out. Gonna throw our hoodie on. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but how I like to get a nice straight press. When I throw this on here, I do a quick tug. And then you can see the line of the actual bottom plan. I just like to make sure it's parallel with this line of the actual garment. Now, also when I pull down, I just like to make sure the length from the platen to the end of the garment is the same on both sides. Just, you know, a quick little look. So now I'm gonna slide this in. I'm gonna give it a quick pre-press or try to because let's see what happens. All right, so this is what happens. When you have a garment, like a hoodie, it's a little too thick for your heat press. It's not going to be the same as a t-shirt. So we need to loosen it up just a little bit more. The same technique we used in the beginning to see if we can get a nice heavy pressure, we need to do that right now. All right, so there we have it. We're gonna take our ninja and throw him right in the middle. All right, so now I'm gonna slide him back in. And I like to go sometimes, you know, if you're working in production, you like to go a little quick, but once you get down to right here, you wanna go a little bit slower because you don't want the transfer sheet to move around. You could use some heat tape, but that will take a little bit of extra time. However, once I get to right here, clamp it down. Give it a 10 to 15 seconds and we should be good to go. And whenever we pull up, we wanna do the same thing when we came down. We wanted to go nice and slow to begin with and then we can move a little quicker. So here we go, we're gonna go nice and slow to begin with. It's gonna be kinda of hard to pull up. Nice and slow at first. All right. Now we're gonna give it a nice hot peel. And there we have our ninja. So now we're gonna do the back. But before we do the back, I do like to do this with transfers. Um, just to make sure it gets a nice secure press. I'll take my craft paper, parchment paper, um, Teflon, whatever it may be. Give it a nice quick press. Maybe about five to 10 seconds or so. Just to make sure all the edges of the transfer is on the garment. Okay, so now we're gonna do the back. The back should be interesting. Throw this on here. Remember to give it a nice quick pull. Don't be too harsh with it. You don't want to rip it. You just want to make sure it's nice and even. And on a hoodie, you do want to go slightly lower than you typically would because when you put the hood back, you know, it's going to cover up some of the print. So you don't want to go too high up because when you're not wearing your hood, it's going to cover up the print. So just a few inches lower than usual. All right, so now I'm going to take this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it down here. So the issue is now this lower portion right here is not going to get pressed. So we're going to press the top half first and then peel it halfway down, then press the bottom half. Okay, so that's 15 seconds for the top half. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and peel it. Maybe to about like right there or so. Now I'm gonna pull it up. So now I got it pulled up so that the bottom portion is going to press onto the bottom half. And I'm gonna take this part right here and I'm gonna cover this part of the art back up. Now I'm gonna slide it back in. Give it another 15 second press. All right, so now we're gonna pull this up. All right, so we're almost there. It is a good idea to have this. So the bottom portion, it is a little bit better for a hoodie if you have a threadable press. Um, the one that's not a slide out, I believe it is threadable because then you won't have this in the way. But the issue is the fact that the, the front side has the pocket, so it's not nice and flat when you press it. However, you can still get through it. Um, it's on there, but some of the edges will peel up slightly. So you have to be careful when you're peeling the transfer. However, what we can do now, since everything is on there, I'm just gonna give it a nice quick brush and I'm gonna take this paper, throw it back on top. Give it another 10 second press or so and that's gonna make sure all the corners, all the edges are nice and flat onto the actual garment itself. 
All right, so gonna do the same thing for the top half. Pull it down. Same thing, another five to 10 seconds on the top half. All right, so this is gonna give it a little bit more security with the press and we're good to go. Man, I love this colorway on this hoodie. I don't know what it is, the blue, the pinks, the white, the gray on the sand. Do y'all hear those footsteps? That's one of my kids running down the stairs to get a drink out of the fridge, I'm sure. All right, so there you have it. A nice hoodie. This is pretty dope, man. Look at the colorway. This is some real streetwear brand looking material right here. Check that out. This is some awesome stuff right here. Look at that colorway. And this is awesome. This is gonna be up on the website too, if y'all wanted to cop one. I know y'all always purchase all these. I just restocked on this right here so you can grab these while you can if you want those t-shirts will be back up and i'll put this hoodie on there as well and this hoodie right here this actual sand color is kind of hard to get right now so i only have like one or two of some sizes but yeah this is pretty dope man i don't know what else to say check that out so that's an easy way to make hoodies this winter all you need is a heat press you don't even need a printer um you just need to go ahead and outsource a few transfers so if you know you got a winning design already go ahead and get it outsourced and pre-made because nothing beats this man full color with a heat press within a few seconds so if y'all looking to get some transfers or the heat press the link will be down below either in the description or in the comment section it'll be a pinned comment all right so uh comment like subscribe if you like this video let me know i can always do more of these videos whatever y'all like i will make it peace love blessings i'll see y'all next time